everybody. So I just thought I'd show you how you can make a matching puzzle kind of like this uh, using Google Slides. Uh, obviously, you'd have an end result that the students would come up with that would look kind of like this. So this is what I would do if you're interested in making your own. In this slideshow, which will, by the way, be available to you in the description of the video, you can open it up and make a copy of it. Once you have that, what I would do if I were you is jump onto this slide and then add you know, modify these words to whatever it is that you want to make them. And then after that, once you have all your words done, search for the pictures that you want to have match up to the vocabulary words and insert them in here. And what I found to be the way that I like doing that was I just went to uh, an image search and like, let's say I needed a picture of a basketball or maybe a sport of basketball. I can just search it. And then if you're on a, a Chromebook or a Chrome base, you can actually just take a screenshot of a certain area. I know there's other ways to do that on PC and Mac. I'm not 100% sure what those are, but I would figure that out because it makes things way easier. So like let's say I want this basketball right here. I'll just take a copy picture of that. Down here in the bottom right, this pops up. I'm gonna click copy to clipboard. And then I'm gonna come back and then I'm just gonna paste it on this. So like, let's say this is the one that I'm working on. I wanna put all my pictures in there. I'll just hit paste and I'll keep going back and forth between the images and the slideshow and just put all the pictures on here first. And then once I'm done, I'll come back and I'll resize them and move them around to wherever it is that they fit on my um, matching puzzle. So once you have the words and you have all your pictures set up, you should have something that looks kind of like this. Um, by the way, just in case you're curious, uh, for the text to make it go vertical like that, all you have to do is make a regular text box and then click this little dot right here and then rotate it and it will automatically rotate the text with the text box. So if I make that and type in those deportes and just grab the dot and I can move it back to right there. So if, if um, maybe you delete one of these by accident or you just start from a complete blank um, canvas, then you can do it that way. So then you're finished, you have this, pictures, words, the puzzle's done, and this is the, the end product that you want for your students. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is get something that's kind of like this so that the students can have it and then rearrange the pieces and have a completed puzzle. To make this, you're actually gonna do kind of something similar to what you did earlier when you got those pictures onto your slideshow. So you're gonna have your puzzle right here. And then what I did is I just did my screenshot of each box, click copy, and then I came down to a blank slide. And then I just pasted all of them on there. And then when, they're, when I was done pasting them, I just dragged them around uh, to you know wherever on this slide. And then um, what I'll do is make a copy of just this slide and I'll share it with the students who then will make a copy of the slide so they can edit it and hopefully come up with this completed puzzle. Again, this is available to you.